Hey guys, today I wanted to share 10 tips for first year computer science students so that you can really make the most out of your college experience these first couple of months when you're just starting out and to alleviate some of the stress and anxiety that comes with starting a new school year and learning something completely new. So I hope that these 10 tips help and you have a great semester. So the first tip I have is to be open-minded. I know a lot of you guys probably already have expectations of the major and what kind of field you want to go into, as I did myself. But the thing is, as you go on learning new classes and learning new skills, you probably start to get different ideas of what you want to do, and that is completely okay. Just be open-minded and open to try new things because there's going to be so much that you don't know yet, and it's completely okay to change minds and discover something new, even if that's not what you originally thought of it. In the first place. My second tip is to be okay with failure, accept that it's going to happen to you and it will be inevitable as part of your journey when you're learning something new. It happens to all of us and instead of thinking like it is the end of the world, look at it as an opportunity for you to continue to grow and develop those skills that you just learned. My third tip is to ask for help. I know a lot of us as beginners we don't want to ask for help because we are scared of appearing dumb and like we don't know all the answers and nobody's going to want to help us. But as beginners that is exactly the opposite of what we should do because we don't know all the answers and there are people out there who know more than us and we should ask them for guidance and for what to do. So next time that you're deciding, oh, should I ask for help or should I not? Should I just keep trying this again and again myself and figure it out because nobody's going to want to help? Think of it this way. Is it more important to appear smart or actually getting the answer that you need so you can move ahead and actually achieve your goals? My fourth tip would be to collaborate with other computer science students in your program because that is the best way that you're going to learn from each other and teach each other the concepts that are required for you to succeed in this field. And what is really cool is that you can share what they know and what you know and they also might know other people who may know other things. So it's a great way just to be able to work together to solve problems and also just have fun because it's a lot more fun when you have other people on the same path as you working together than just trying to do everything yourself. My fifth tip is to build general relationships with those professors and TAs in your classes because when you start building these relationships early on and trying to understand them and getting to know about what they like and what they don't like, it's a lot easier when you're trying to ask for help for that program assignment later on instead of late waiting till the last day to even walk through the door and introducing yourself. I think it's also really important to build connections with them because they might have resources and opportunities that you don't know about yet. So make sure to connect with your TAs and professors and don't see them as intimidating. They are there to help you and they really want to see you succeed. My sixth tip is to start programming assignments early. And I know this seems a little bit like, okay, that's pretty obvious. I'm not supposed to wait until last minute, but I mean actually starting really early because starting from the day that it's released is probably a smart idea because you have no idea the amount of time it takes to complete everything from planning, coding, researching, testing it, etc. There's always going to be unexpected things that come up and concepts that you're not really familiar with yet, so you have to review them. So just make sure to start them early so you have enough time to figure out issues that come up. My seventh tip is to plan ahead lots of time for debugging. Now this is the thing, a lot of beginners think that the time that it takes to program assignment should be the one that takes the longest. But the thing is, sometimes debugging and finding those mistakes that you made in your code takes even longer than the time it actually took to program and research what you need to do. So I want you to plan at least half of the time that you think that you will need to program your code for debugging. Because it's really hard when you complete this amazing piece of code but you run through all the test cases and none of them pass. So this is how they are usually graded on. So you have to make sure that your code is actually doing what it's supposed to do so that you can get the most marks for your assignment. So plan ahead lots of time for debugging, going to ask for help for your professors or TAs if things go wrong. So just make sure that you have planned ahead for this. My eighth tip to you guys is to be okay with things taking longer than you think it should. Sometimes we think that it's a race and we get a prize for completing something faster than anybody else in our class, but that is not the case. You want to really understand the concepts, not rush through it and thinking that you're better than everyone because you finished it first. You want to be able to come across the concept again in the future and be able to pick it right up because you learned it and the concepts are rock solid in your head. And 
I want you to be able to take the time to ask for help, do the research, and really grasp them before moving on. It is not a race, and you can take the time to learn something even if you think it's taking longer than anybody else because you are on your own path and not anybody else's. So don't compare yourself to other people, just focus on what you need to learn. My ninth tip for you guys is to get involved with activities and things outside of the classroom and just programming. Sometimes when we are in our own little bubble and staying late in the computer labs late at night programming on that assignment, we can forget that we are part of a larger community and that is our college campus. There's so many activities and events that you can join, clubs, they don't always have to be related to programming. Sometimes it's good to have other hobbies and things that you're passionate about outside of technology. So go out there, meet new people, have fun, maybe do a hackathon or two, but just don't get too involved like thinking you have to spend day and night just programming. You can have other activities and things that you love outside of that as well. My 10th and final tip would be to make it fun for you. I know it can be really stressful when you're struggling with something new and you don't know how to fix this bug, but through all of that, I still want you to do things that make programming fun. Remember why you started? Why did you choose computer science in the first place? Is it because you like problem solving? Is it like you enjoy creating things? Then maybe do some personal projects outside of school and class so you can discover that passion again. So maybe creating like a fun little website or a fun little app or just doing things just for fun. I remember that when I was first starting computer science, I put so much pressure and stress on myself that it was no longer fun. So I had to do things like little passion projects outside of school so I can refine that passion and remember why I enjoyed coding in the first place, whether that is learning a new programming language that isn't taught in your classes or just doing something fun for you and not anybody else. These are my top 10 tips for first year computer science students. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube at Tech out that. Nice.